I'm Big Will Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. Boy, we had an absolutely loaded slate of sports on the Western Slope tonight, and we begin with what some are touting the high school softball game of the year. It's Fruta and Central at Seamus Field. Packed house for this huge showdown. Five straight wins for Central, eight straight wins for Fruta, and the first batter for Central smacks it to left, and Isabel Blue is there for the grab and he's play. But early on in this one, it was the Chloe Padilla show. Padilla gave just a single run to Grand Junction on Tuesday, and just two, two days later, she's looking to do the same. Her second strikeout ends the top of the first. Bottom first now, Olivia Worth hits the third, and Reagan Ball fires an absolute bullet. The first to end an opening, a scoreless opening inning. And in the second, more of the same. Padilla gets her third strikeout through just four batters. But after a first base hit of the game, Tuscany Ritter tries to steal second. But the throw is too high as Ritter rounds third, goes all the way from first to home, throw not in time to give Central the first run of the game. But how would the second end the same way the first did? It's Padilla's fourth strikeout in just the first two innings. Bottom second now, Bailey Bingham crushes this ball and it hits the wall as Bingham strolls to second for a stand-up double. Isabel Blue now grounds out to first, but Bingham goes from third to home to tie this game at one. It's Peyton Shear at the plate now. And Shear belts this ball way deep to center. Another Wildcat scores, and it's a double for Shear. She smacked that ball. And next batter is Raina Roberts, and she obliterates this ball, and it goes over the wall for a two-run shot to give Fruta a 4-1 to one lead over Central. Next batter, Lacey Rodabaugh tells Roberts, anything you can do, I can do better, because this ball is sent to Denver. It hits the top of the ceiling and bounces back in. It's an absolute moonshot in the solo digger for Rodabaugh to give Fruta the 5-1 to one lead. Boy, these Wildcats bats are something else. But, boy, the softball game of the year did not disappoint. Central came roaring back in this one to tie it and send it to extras. But in the end, it was the Wildcats who come away with the win and their incredible win streak remains alive. It's nine straight victories for Fruta as Central's five game win streak ends in heartbreaking fashion. It's the final game of the regular season for Central, but Fruta still has a doubleheader to go at home against Durango tomorrow. But heading now to Cronkrite Field where Grand Junction was in action against Rifle.